Okay, June, strawberry month. Who says strawberries aren't Italian? When you make them into strawberry pesto to use to make a panini. So it's very easy. The first thing we do is we have one cup of basil, and I freshly picked these this morning, all my little basil leaves. Okay, so we have one cup of basil. I have already put in here the um, two tablespoons of olive oil, the one clove of garlic minced up, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. I need to add two tablespoons of Parmesan. And then all we have to do is process it until it's smooth. The first time I did this in my big processor, a mini processor works just fine. Then I'm going to add I need 10 strawberries in all, and five of them I'm gonna keep for later, and five of them I pulled and cut up, and I'm gonna add them to my pesto, or almost strawberry pesto. Then, what we're gonna do is, to assemble it's pretty easy. We take a ciabatta roll, and first of all, on both sides of our roll, we're gonna spread our pesto. Now, this pesto, because we're using strawberry, it's not sweet. You definitely get the taste of the basil coming through. And if you take your children or grandchildren with you to um, the strawberry patch, be sure to pick extra strawberries and then you can make strawberry freezer jam and use later. Then you want to have a thick slice of turkey breast. Thickly sliced. And you add your arugula and some scallions. Now I, ooh, now I have made this by also putting um, a slice of provolone cheese on it, which is very good, even though the recipe doesn't call for it. But you put your extra strawberries on. I could add another slice of turkey, cover it up. And I'm using a panini press but if you don't have a panini press, if you simply, oh, there goes my strawberry. You simply can put it in a pan and take an old brick and wrap it in aluminum foil and use that as your press. That's always something good to have in the house. If you like to make a press sandwich and you just let it cook down, warm up. But it's a pretty quick and easy meal to have. It's a little different, but another way to grill and to make pesto. Pesto also, I found if you um, put it in a jelly jar and put a thin layer of olive oil on the top and then in the freezer, it's you can just pull it out whenever you need to have pesto. Okay. And this one, when it's all grilled, there we go. And <laughs> they're pretty good size too. So if you're not a big eater, you might want to split it in half. And you have strawberry pesto panini.